I think I could speak for all of his coaches. Like usually when we first start up with an athlete, like I know I do on a Skype call, like I often mention, you know, within the first 15, 20, 30 minutes that, you know, we definitely value open, honest communication, a two way street. So I want to hear, I always say, yeah, I want to hear about the things that go well. I mean, everyone wants to hear that, but I also want to hear things that maybe don't go so well or that athlete doesn't enjoy maybe something that we're doing because obviously if something's not working, then I want to put our heads together to find something that will work, but something could work, but they may not like it. And I want to hear that too. So that way maybe there's an alternative that we can do that, that we can get progress as well, but they enjoy it more. Um, Because in in the end, remember, this is a journey, right? And it's the process itself is supposed to be enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, the progress is important. But when you start to love the process more than the progress, that's where you find true happiness with, with what we're doing. So I put high value in that communication so that so athletes do feel comfortable. Um, you know, when let's say things aren't going too well and, you know, oftentimes when we're not adhering to something, um, you don't want to disappoint people. You don't want to disappoint your coach. You don't want to disappoint your spouse or whatever. So you have that fear and insecurity of like, what kind of response am I going to get if I do say, Hey, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and I've had lately, I've actually had one or two people that came to me and said they were scared to say that they weren't adhering because of past experience with past coaches um, because the basically they got reprimanded you know it's like you did you do wrong you shouldn't do that again as whereas for me i understand that we're all human we're not perfect and there's a reason maybe adherence isn't 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 good is it it could be on my end it could be the protocols i'm assigning just are too stressful for them to to execute with context of their life so i want to know you know, if that's the case. And I also want to know if there's something else that maybe um, they're just dealing with that uh, is just making things challenging. And if I can, if I can give some leeway and in this person's case, it was having a hard time adhering to the diet. So instead of trying to lower calories down or, Hey, let's do more activity, which would just amplify stress even more, actually and said, Hey, let's, let's just, uh, either keep calories the same or just elevate them a little higher and see if we can actually improve adherence. Um, but don't take it as a failure. It's like you're, it's a learning experience. If it didn't go well, it's a learning experience, get better from it. <laughs>